If you think that piano technique is this sort of crazy acrobatics and super finger powers to be able to play a gazillion notes in a minute, then you're seriously misguided. The end result in music making is not to impress, but to express. This ability to express is what we strive for and cultivate in the practice room by exploring our relationships to the instrument and thus ourselves. Technique is knowing how to get what you want with the current tools and assets that you have. But first, you need to know what you want. Welcome back to Joy of Practicing. I'm your host, Ferdi Talan. For me, piano technique is 75% musical comprehension and 25% ergonomics awareness. At any given time, with whatever skills and tools that you have at that moment, you can solve more problems if you shift your focus to musical understanding instead of physical movements. And this is very specific. By musical understanding, I don't mean you understand how the melody is supposed to sound like and how you want to feel when you hear it. Because none of those things matter if it does not translate to the audience. I'm talking more about timing, grouping, relationship between voices, relationship between hands, etc. You need to translate what you get conceptually through three outlets, visually, physically, and emotionally. Inflections, pauses, places of articulations, all determines the meaning that are conveyed. The way that you want to say it will give you the roadmap to physically achieving it. My guiding principle has always been, if you can sing it the way that you hear it, you can verbalize the timing, grouping, and eventually figure out a passage of movement that your body and the instrument can naturally engage. I'm gonna give you an example with this number, you know, uh, the sensuous um, habanera from Carmen, right? The way that it's written is, it's the right? If I play it strictly, imaginative actually like will come into it now what I mean by understanding it when I sing it so for example I know that I want to have a lick bum 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 right if I do this evenly it's not going to have the sexual provocation or evocation and if I um, one of the bell control rules for example if you want to have a singing quality you prolong the 16 so I'm gonna try that let's do but that's a little bit more lazy than sexy right this is this is what I find really interesting um, in a practice room is this, this is what you uh, discuss with yourself and when you decide in the practice room, it's like, okay, to make it sound sexy, then I'll have to do this. But this is your own translation and your own dialogue with, with, with yourself and see um, how are you going to achieve it with the, with the current tools and the knowledge that you have. So. Um, I'm just gonna give it to you right now for illustration purposes, but what gives the sexiness is that if you can hold the tension for as long as you can before you enter. Right? And then if I move mm, a little less, it's even going to be more. But I need to conceptualize that first. And then I need to figure out what in my current capacity and skill, can, how can I achieve that? And that's technique. Technique is, technique is knowing your instrument. Technique is knowing yourself. Technique is 
the smarts of being able to solve a musical problems or any problem and I really truly hope that you will have a better experience of practicing in the practice room with this information uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't uh, if you have uh, thank you for your support all this time and I look forward for your uh, to see you in the next to your practicing episode bye